Pat Spallone. I'm going to tell you about surgery I had for removing a cavernoma in my right temporal lobe, right there. I had this a couple of years after being diagnosed with a cavernoma, a cavernoma I thought was never ever going to come out, that I thought was never ever going to give me any problems, which I even thought my neurologist told me probably wouldn't give me any problems. But it did, a couple of years down the line. It bled, oddly. Uh, oddly, I hit ground one day, one morning, which I never did before. I thought maybe it was a small seizure. But when uh, a very wise uh, neurologist that I went to see very quickly, thanks to my GP, uh, sent me to the hospital, the first time I'd been in the hospital on a weekend to have a quick MRI. I found the bleed. She said it'll probably have to come out. I never had surgery on my little finger, let alone my brain. I thought, no way. But anyway, the cavernoma didn't settle down. Uh, I was advised to have surgery by one surgeon. I got a second opinion who said, no, let's wait. Let's um, see if it calms down for in a couple of months. It never did calm down. Think about it again. Okay, I was advised to have this cavernoma out. Why am I going to, to all the trouble to tell you these details? Because over this time, I got incredibly anxious, incredibly anxious about surgery. And I'm sorry I did. Anyway, I decided to take the advice to have it removed. Uh, I was glad to have that advice and to take it. But I think the worst thing about that time was the anxiety I felt. It is so difficult to make that decision when your surgeon is telling you you don't absolutely have to remove that cavernoma, but it's probably advisable. The risks are 50-50 with the benefits, but, but that anxiety is one of the most difficult things to cope with and the, one of the things that I found most, the hardest thing, one of the hardest things my body and mind went through. The upshot was I had the surgery. Up until the moment I went into surgery, I was maniacal about it. Well, maybe that's too strong a word. The most wonderful thing was I had it at a fantastic facility with wonderful surgeons and surgical team. And as soon as I got wheeled into surgery, I felt like I was in the hands of gods. I came out with a very successful outcome. Um, and, well, what can I say? It was very difficult afterwards for me. Uh, the recovery process was difficult in the sense that um, it's tiring. Um, took a while to recover. On the other hand, um, in time, I'm here uh, in good shape on the other side of it and it's behind me.